here's a short video this is the base of my compost toilet I'm dealing with uneven pallets and even uneven sizes and it's very creative it's just putting puzzles together I love it you don't mind getting tired for this type of work um, I've got to fix some joists everything we reclaimed there's a small story to, to actually go with this and uh, there's pallets that actually seen as soon as they became available within two three four days I was on this case and I knew it was going to be the base because I was waiting for scaffold boards to be coming over from the UK but um, that could be years down the road so I've got these pallets and the way I found out is that I went up to uh, our abandoned plot and I streamed a piece of grass because I was going to put a couple of beehives down there whilst I was transferring them to my neighbour and uh, the rule is you have to be more than about three miles away from your neighbour's place uh, if you don't want the bees to come flying back to your own place so the idea is that you can't actually transfer bees over to your neighbour's place you have to transfer them away um, three miles and then transfer them back three miles you get my point anyway uh, I came back the following day checked my bees and there was a pile of pallets and some uh, mesh work and various other bits and pieces someone left a note they discovered uh, uh, um, uh, what you call an identification number on one of, on one of the beehives it wasn't me but it's from the guy who actually bought the hives or who actually gave me the hives as a present to restore so um, eventually they found out it was me they left a note and I came back the stuff was still there they were disputing whether it was a, our land or not so I said anything left on our land is mine so I took a trailer load of pallets from my dad and um, and well hey free gift now they carried on they didn't take all the pallets we just took enough and I'm going to use the, the last few to maybe build a facade on the um, on the arc, which is the food tunnel. But this is going to be beautiful. There's going to be some steps coming up around here. Probably both sides are going to be two patio doors. And I'm probably going to have two styles of toilet in there. Uh, I prefer the Turkish type toilets where you crouch down on, on your haunches. Um, rather than the, uh, the, you know, the Victorian style sitting down on a seat um, so I'm gonna have that and then underneath uh, some sort of collection basin but you can see I've got maybe uh, the biochar to the right and composting material to the left so any liquids and stuff like this are we're gonna sort of drain freely back into this surrounding material and that's going to be uh, broken down even faster because of the uh, activation process and um, the whole thing may even incorporate stuff like a sink a shower unit and but that's a little bit further than i want to go at the moment i just need to to get something here for my volunteers who um um who have to be asked to shit in the underneath the trees or underneath the rocks or the system which i've got around the back there is underneath a straw bowl and i grow potatoes out of those straw bowls now so um, even straw bowls underneath this uh, raised floor could actually work anyhow this is me looking tired and probably going to do a little bit of guitar practice before I fall asleep on my bed as usual it's quite good actually when you fall asleep when it's dark and there's the food tunnel adios amigos